What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to more Vicky 3. We'll be playing as Zulu, and we are struggling for money. So we're gonna we're gonna make our levies peasant levies for now, um, just because we're. I think this episode's gonna mainly focus on fixing up our economy and getting in a good state of mind. Um, good state of mind is not, but getting getting our economy built up, kind of taking advantage of our large population. And kind of rolling with um, the punches, so to speak, building us, building us up to then really hit our stride um, in the next couple of years. With that in mind, um, we need to get some railways in Gondor. We're looking at 50% market access there, and I need to get that number up. Um, there's some good resources to be gained from this region. Let me recruit a. We already have a general over here. Um, but yeah, right now we're gonna regret. We're not gonna pay our. Um, our military super high goods. We'll keep paying them, but we're just gonna cut down the goods they use, mainly because it's expensive, right? Ammunition is not something that we have a lot of in the British market. Um, let's go ahead and cut down that railway, and we'll just put that towards the bottom and start doing these Transval upgrades. Speaking of, I wanna actually build another construction sector in Transval, or the first one, because this is gonna be a huge place of income with 104 gold mines, and oh, well, what's kick that up. I need to make sure wherever we have gold mines, we're doing that number one priority. That's crazy that I missed that. Yeah, build those please. But first do the uh, construction sector. And then we'll do that after the construction sector. Okay, that's the ordering I want. Yeah, prioritize the gold mines, Sean. Because that's how we make money, you stupid dude. Dummy, dummy, silly head. Um, other than that... Other than that, uh, well, we, we just gave myself a four-year queue. Let's, let's sit on the four-year queue and stabilize before going crazy on the spending. Maybe we do a second tier. I'm, I'm, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm going to just... Construction is king. Do a second tier of construction sector here. And then build your gold fields. That sounds good to me. So, do we have any gold fields down here that I want to maybe snap? Yeah, Northern Cape. If I could get that province, that'd be really nice. Also, over here, they're building a lot. Rubber plantations, yeah. This is also a really good province to snatch. That's where the lead mines are. Okay. Defensive pact with Austria? Austria. Also, that's a big Russia, right? Did they always start with Poland? Or did they just snatch that? Hmm. Big bear. Big, big bear. Okay. I'm going to let the uh, economy game play out a little bit. I'll bring you guys back. Looks like we have some support for Slavery Band. And man, do I want to support it. But those landowners, man. They'd be pissed. But, yeah, I'm going to play out for a little bit with the economy. I'll bring you guys back once something interesting happens. Um, France is colonizing over here, which is going to make our borders crazy, but oh well. Anyway, see you guys soon. All right, guys, welcome back. Not much time has passed, but it looks like Amhara is going to rise up again and try to um, break free, despite the fact that they have... Turmoil? You don't have turmoil, though. I mean, Gondor has turmoil. Oh, Gondor is rising up. That makes sense. Moss, I've been incorporating you. What? Oh. Um, are they fibbing? There they go. Okay. All right, we'll have to get that back. I think one should be sufficient. Oh, actually, I mobilized the other one, so we'll just send them both. Oh, well. Okay, expand our iron mine in Verstadt. We need to do that. Um, restore closed borders. Oh, the royal folk are pissed because we're going for... All right, stop the colony stuff. Pissed off people. Why, why are you so pissed? What's going on? Unacceptable government. All right, we'll kick the, kick the clergy out. There, fixed it. Also, let me... Okay, so... 
Okay, there goes first stop. Okay, we're going to have to put this rebellion down. We're making money again because I've started building gold mines. I want to pay off some of this crazy credit we have. Um, paying 1k in interest is, is not fun for me. Um, it's not kosher. So we'll just kind of deal with it. There goes skirmish infantry. Ooh, that reminds me. That, that's, that reminds me. We need to just uh, pay our people some money here. That's going to be a problem. Are you going to be in my market? What are you going to run with? Okay, we should still be fine here. Maybe I don't do skirmish up free. Well, we'll sit on it. We'll kick it down whenever this war's over. Forgot that we weren't paying our, our troops real money. We were, we were giving them sticks and telling them to go outside and play. Okay, finishing up our coal mines. Our gold mines, I should say, not coal. And then we have the coal mines being built after that. Focusing on our resource extraction will be our priority here. So let's take a look. How is this affecting us? They probably have reduced offensive capacity. Like down here. These guys are just in reserve. Yeah, minus a lot from getting our equipment changed, but should still be sufficient, which is pure numbers. Eight is terrible, but oh well. Okay, looks like that is going to be dealt with. Don't need to worry too much on that front. Let's go ahead and just make sure our states are up to snuff. Nothing is deviating from the... Good. I do want to kick over to slaughterhouses eventually, but we just don't have the, the moolah. We can go best more processes, though. That'll make us some money. Not necessarily directly, but... Sudley Amhara, are you building... You do are building a railroad there. Transvaal is getting built. This is getting finished. And we're going to be back at our subsistence levels. Okay, we are uh, we're basically researching law enforcement right now. Um, the idea is if I can get my... Um, what's his face loyal? If I can get the landowners loyal enough and have them like us enough... Right now they're at 8. If I can get them above 10... I could make a play to swap over and get rid of our um, things that are giving them strength. We need to change our voting structure is the main reason why they're still in power. But that's going to take time. All right, so let's go back to incorporating this. I bet this is okay. This is already been incorporated. Good. All right, so with that done, I can go back to paying my military pennies and paying off our, our money. And then we will go back to our states and reset their production. All right. All right. That was just a small blob of what I was dealing with. Um, we're going to pay off our credit, and I'm going to go back to increasing our capacity, uh, making us wealthier as time goes on. I also need to get our innovativeness up. Um, we can build 15 more of these damn universities, but for now, I think I'm going to prioritize getting our capacity up to construction. Hitting around the 100 point, I think, will be my, my goal for this episode. If we can get around to 100 capacity in construction, then I can go and get our innovativeness up. Maybe I'll do it in breakpoints. Like once I get 50, I'll build a couple of universities and vice versa. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, I'll bring you guys back once we have some progress updates. And uh, I'll see you then. All right. Hello. Welcome back. All right. Some time has passed. We're kicking around 74, 75 ish construction capacity. I built a lot of um, construction sectors in Transvaal, considering this is our, our main state where I want to be building um, coal mines and the like. In fact, let's go ahead and kick up to 20 coal mines there. Um, they're almost out of peasants, but we still have a lot of pop in the other regions to work with, namely places like Gondor, which, speaking of, is pretty close to being incorporated. Once it's incorporated, I'm... Let's go ahead and unpause. Actually, I can already do the return return state for Shewan Amhara. Okay, yeah, we want to we hold off a little bit. Let's... We're, we're going to prep to go to war with those guys. Um, 
to that effect, let's go ahead and get some... Let's get skirt... Uh, let's put up our gold reserves a little bit. I want I want to jump into war there, but I don't want to... What, what are you guys using? Are you using pointy sticks? What, what are you rocking? You're rocking pointy stick infantry, so... We should be able to get by with just doing our line infantry upgrade. Should be fine. Um, I also increased um, a lot of... Uh, God, I can't think right now. I, I built a lot of universities, which is why we're at 83.2 out of the 99.4 cap. So we still need some to build. But for now, I think that's going to be good. And I want to focus back on getting our, our military at capacity and also getting us some, um, some more construction capacity, right? I want to hit 100 and then we'll go and keep ourselves at the innovation cap. And then after that, it's just going to be economy and military all the way because then we'll be just riding that cap and keeping us basically at the limit of what we can maintain for innovation that way we can try to catch up wherever possible um speaking of tech i actually do want to after getting mechanized workshop here i think i might make a play for reinforced concrete that just gives us construction throughput nothing else over here really stokes my interest other than dynamite but that can kind of wait because we don't have nitroglycerin yet so i think i'm gonna go mechanized grab reinforced concrete, and then I'm going to revisit the military and make a push for ironclads, right? Gantry cranes and ironclads will be the theme of um, what we'll be doing. In fact, probably ironclads before gantry, because we do we already have ironclads in the market? We do. We do. So we're already a little bit behind on tech here. Um, they might not have swapped over their ports. They have. They're running the monitor. Okay, never mind. No, we're still behind, which sucks, but oh well. Oh, well, indeed. Um, what's the what's the time on... Okay, seven months. I want this to basically incorporate. That way I can use return state here instead of conquer state because 22 is rough. But compare that to, you know, nine for the return state. And you can see what we're kind of talking about, right? Like this is, a, this is a bigger state, but it's only nine because we already have it cored, um, which is why I'm going to kind of wait and hold off on that. Um, to that effect, Liberia... Congo and then an alliance with Persia makes it pretty hard to attack the Portuguese pretty pretty tough there we need to also build up some more railways in these states that don't have infrastructure one two we'll do one in Zululand and one in Gondor just to keep us capped there keep these ones at the top though in fact we'll do these Zulu and Gondland after this Transvaal might also need one yeah, that's going to push Transvaal over the limit, but we can sneak that in, right? Because we're building one mine here. We'll sneak a mine in Transvaal and throw it right between those two coal mines. Well, one up just to play it safe. That way we don't lose any capacity, assuming, you know, some random construction goes. Speaking of random construction, in terms of what our investment pool is generating, looks like we're getting some arm in industries, which is nice. means we're not just sticking to our... Um, basic stuff that'll be our first arms industry and i want that to just produce cannons honestly because that's the most expensive thing right now in our market right well explosives are expensive so maybe maybe we stay small arms for now and then i'll have to go and fix the fertilizer issue which should be doable we have chemical plants yeah i could do that all right looks like we just yeah looks like we just got a lot of stuff done um, in terms of the economic goal, economic dominance. So next it's going to be having iron, coal, and steel be cheap and having a lot of nations in our customs union. To do that, we need to be independent. But I think we could accomplish that because I think once I have a good chunk of Africa, it's going to be puppet time, right? Like I, I want to use the puppet strategy um, wherever possible. I need to make smart puppets though. Like I would love the British Raj as a puppet because they don't really have a ton of revolts. They're, they pretty much manage themselves, and that's good. So we're just going to kind of sit on that for the time. But that's going to be our goal. So 11 weeks. Um, how long is the diplomatic play timer? Because I want to start our diplomatic play and kind of save time. Are, what are we sitting at for infamy? We're at five. So infamy's still ticking down, so it's not wasted time. We're, gonna, we're not going to go for like a France playthrough where we have a super high infamy. So as long as that's ticking down, it's not wasted time, the peace time that we're currently sitting on. It is a little bit in the terms that our credit's ticking up while I have my military um, kind of not raised, but I'm giving them better arms than I can really afford to give them, even though it's basic stuff. 
So we will make a run for this. We'll actually wait. We'll make Shewa our, our main goal here. In fact, can I do something? Can I get an ally somewhere or a defensive pact somewhere? I'd quite like that. Looks like stock exchange is done. What are we going to get our next one that we're going to kind of get through spread? Banking. That's good. That'll give us some money. That'll help with our minting problems. Because that'll give us another 10% in minting, which will probably actually cover that 3k deficit. Government restriction is good. How is the timer on this? 10 days. Okay. I think that's... We'll just wait it out. I don't want to risk us not having the option to do return state. Um, I'm not sure if it's like EU4 where core stop once you've Hello? Game? My... Okay, well, maybe do a pause real quick. My monitor just turned off. There we go. Okay. That was weird. That was very strange. I had like a power surge that only affected my monitor and not my actual thing. Hope that didn't fuck up the recording. Okay. We are very low on tax capacity in this new state of Gondor, by the way. We should fix that. Let's, um... I guess we'll just build a couple of these. Let's get 12 of these. How much does one of these? So one of these does 80 tax capacity. We only need, okay, maybe not 12. Let's do four. That was a little crazy, what I was doing there. Okay, let's do return state on Shewan Amhara. And can I not even, I guess I still have to do conquer with Shewa. That's weird, right? Is that going to be its own state? Oh well, well, I paid the infamy for it, so... We're back to being infamous, which sucks, but... Such is life. Such is life. Go up to speed 5 while we do the war deck here. And we'll kind of sit on this. Ironclads are pricey, as is explosives and coal. Coal is good to be pricey, because we produce coal. Coal is the lifeblood we have here. Speaking of, there we go, making our coal mines. And there's our government administrations. Only 49 weeks on these. Looking good. Looking good indeed. We make 10k from poll taxes. That's gonna be a problem. I'd love to get someone else who's not this fucking dude. in office. I just can't. Maybe go theocracy, which would be crazy. We're going to win this pretty handedly, even though we're not using super advanced troops. Numbers have a quality of its own. Let's make our strategic objective over here is good. So let's try to let's make a push for our colonial exploitation again. Last time the uh, royal folk really hated us for doing this, which is fine. They can hate us. I do not mind. But I want to make some progress on that front. It's also kind of crazy how much money you sometimes make from this. Like it's like our military goods are we're. I would love to know the logic here that's causing this to go down. Are we, like, looting? Are we paying ourselves through loot? I'm not gonna... This is this is not worth the damn time for me to um, do colonial exploitation. Not worth it. Slavery banned, on the other hand. Get that slavery banned, and let's get this war over with. They have the numbers on us, which is pretty scary when you think about it, but we have the, uh, maybe we don't have the quality here. So that's gonna mean, that means, let's go defensive mindset here. And we're gonna kick up our military spending to get us some mobile artillery.
We're still actually just winning. They're gonna push us back, that's fine. Wait a minute. Okay, we unlock some new stuff for our sewing bins. Why are these running hand sewn? Should have had that swapped over a while ago. Same with like craftsmanship there. Make a nice lift. Anywhere where we actually make money off of industrializing, we should do it. I'm just going to trust that the numbers they're telling us are correct when I make these assessments. If they're not, oh well. I'd love to get rid of the clergy in these places. Let's pay our military again. Get them all the way up here for me. Look at that money we're making. Ban that slavery. 25k, oh, because I'm not building all my capacity here. Okay. Looks like motor industries are a good source of income, as is steel and coal. Um, we have one more we can do in Transvaal. We'll build one in Transwell just because that'll make makes the, uh, the productivity cap. No, it's gonna that's not gonna be the cap. But uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's go back to our motor industries. Now we want to use some of these. Let's get let's get about five of these here, and then steel mill. Let's do five over here, and that'll produce some of these goods. Go for whatever's expensive. So right now, engines are very expensive. That's good. Good for us as a producer, but not good for the market as a whole, because that's an input good. Alright, how's our war looking? We can get out of here. Yeah, we can't, we couldn't use return state against that, even though we had it as our primary state. Funny. I guess maybe it wasn't a homeland? Hmm. Food for thought there. Anywho, uh, iron frame buildings for all of our stuff. Let's go ahead and do our state action to reset production method. And that should be good for us. We are running low on things. Is that because of Great Britain suiciding us or are we actually low? We are low on Anhara. So let's get two tiers here. Let's get a tier in a Romo, maybe two. Uh, let's do one and then we'll just move this one to the bottom. That all should be fine. In terms of using our bureaucracy, um, let's sit on our bureaucracy right now. I think if we sit on it, we'll be in a good way. No one should get involved in this. Should be a fast war, relatively speaking, and we're losing a quite a bit of money. Quite, quite a bit. After this, we'll probably cut back on our infantry spend. But that doesn't account for where all our money's going. Probably the fact that our market access is being low because Great Britain is at war. Our government is illegitimate. Oh, because these guys want to revolt. Gondor or Romia? See, the problem is now they will take all of our northern lands if, if they do this. All right, we could not get slavery. Could not fix it. Please stop the revolt. Thank you. Okay, that did not work. It was a valiant effort. Valiant effort. I'm actually fine. I need I need someone to be an abolitionist. Someone needs to take the hit and not take the hit. But someone needs to be ahead of their thinking and then our landowners. They need to see people as people. Finish that one. Love to invite an agitator. Go speed five while we end that out. Should be quick.
get all of our cores back. And that'll put us at 31. We'll let that tick down. I'm cautious. I think of the next target. Oh my god, all of these guys have already been snatched. It might be Egypt. It's our next guy. It's gonna be costly regardless. Does I take Congo? Maybe it's gotta be Portugal. They're the only ones who I think we have a, a shot at. I don't care about Liberia or Congo. Persia's gonna be an interesting int problem. With 56 battalions. We'll just... I think it's gonna be an economic build-up here. We've done what we kind of can. We need to start exerting pressure and other methods. And maybe get ourselves some puppets around the world. Maybe, um... Hmm... Definitely going to be a rough one here. They're actually... Well, the defensive back with Austria makes it a hassle. Let's improve relations with some people. Take out Morocco here and get us some border lands up here. Morocco's got gold mines. Morocco does have gold mines. Hmm, that's a good idea. Okay. We'll have to kind of sit on it and let this develop. It can be tomorrow. Uh, we'll just wait. If they're about to get out of here, we won't have to pay the, the cost associated with that. And everything will be fine. Okay, maybe I kick up our next tier of law enforcement. If I... You know what? We should be able to do the next tier of taxation. We can't because we have fucking traditionalism. God. Government problems. Will you let me do stuff? If I have you in here? About healthcare might be useful. Okay. Let's cut down our military spend. And kind of deal with our, our cost here. 5k in interest, that's a lot. And that's going to keep getting worse. So we need to raise taxes. And it's back to playing the money game. Money game, because tools are expensive as is coal. And we have low market access in some regions. Drag you to the front here behind these things from Amhara, Amhara though. Okay, we'll let our stuff pay off. Military wages from barracks. We just pay them a ton? Hmm. Need landowners to be like even more friendly towards us. What can I do? Oh, slavery. We get rid of that. I don't really have an option to. That'd be rough. All right, I'm going to play the diplomatic game. I'll bring you guys, not diplomatic, economic. I'll bring you guys back once we're ready to do something, likely whenever we have our, our credit limit paid off and we're going to keep doing our expansionist game but for now we'll just kind of uh sit here and, and twiddle our thumbs while we uh build build up our economy which is not twiddling our thumbs it, it's progress right we're eighth in the economy uh, if you look in the ledger in terms of gdp we're right there with the u.s which is impressive in itself um, and we're expanding so we're doing all right if we were not hmm can't go higher than 21 so we, we are still Captain our prestige. Am I, unrec am I not recognized? Huh. Anyway, for now, we're going to take a break and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, we're back. All right, a lot of time has passed. Um, it's, no, I wouldn't say a lot of time, a couple years, a couple years. We have 125 production now and we're sitting pretty close to the innovativeness cap, but we're about to cross 100 digits here. I'm looking at potentially going to war with Portugal. Um, I want to get our control over these regions again. So let's go and do Conquerors to Satan. I, I want to just get this done with. 
Uh, we're, we're, the reason I'm starting this now is because we are about to hit um, towards the lower half of our... Okay, so this region here, what is this region? South Angola. Give me South Angola. What? Okay, I'll make sure I don't go too high here. Then I want to do... Let's do North Angola too. Let's get, let's get our foothold up there. And we're going to kind of sit this out. This will get us this place. This will get us... Do I do one more? Zambezia. All right, that puts us right at the level of becoming like too high to really uh, contest here. It's also gonna make it a lot harder for us to get some stuff done. Um, the reason for that, of course, being that we'll now have, um, well, we do have a 20 stack of fleet, so that should be fine. Let's go and add some naval bases to our, our queue here. I want to make sure I have capacity here. Let's get Madagascar to have some. We'll leave this area up here devoid of naval power for now. All right. Let's hope that we don't get any French men to join us. You're fearful. I mean, he could back down. I gotta be careful about who I sway, right? Because if I hit get one more infamy. I'm going to hit up to, yeah. Yeah, not worth adding this primary. If they back down, they back down. That's fine. Um, we're going to just kind of power through what I have in my queue for production. We'll take the hit. Uh, we need to fund our government increasing. Government slaves. Oh. Government wages are expensive. I could decrease that in a variety of ways, but we'll just kind of ride on it. Um, I'll go down to speed four. I'm worried about my... Uh, mic glitching out a little bit if I go up to high and use too much memory. Sometimes OBS gets fighty, feisty whenever that happens. I've been unable to push through colonial resettlement. It just has not been something that the royal folk will let me pass without going into open rebellion. Likewise for any laws. We've been pretty stagnant on that front, which is regrettable. Um, let's go and bring the full 20 stack to bear here. Let's go ahead and... Let's take and get our second admiral. We have enough excess bureaucracy since I've been building government sectors that I don't mind doing this and doing a naval invasion with the six stack here. We won't have sufficient support for them, but that should not be too big of an issue. Hopefully. Coal is still the most expensive thing as well as engines. That's fine. We will deal with that. Let's also, well, let's, let's let our, our queue churn before I uh, do anything crazy here. I need to raid coasts here. Yeah, what are, what are we looking at in terms of the Portuguese and their military? Shouldn't be enough to stop me from attacking here, surely. Sending other people too. Thing one. Waiting for our invasion forces. Okay, that should be one. Good on all fronts. Yeah, we're pushing in the south, pushing in the north. Let's go ahead and snatch this tin stack here and we'll put you down here to advance as well. Good. Yeah, I'm back, Portugal. Sean's returned. Okay, we're starting to get into a crazy level of expenses here. I might need to kick up either taxes or kick down government spending. Maybe a little column A, column B here. Anything I can tax that's more reasonable? I could do a T tax instead of opium. Let's drop opium and tax T instead. That's a luxury good. Everything else makes sense. I'm not going to tax liquor. I want to tax liquor, but we just can't afford it. Which is unfortunate. Fortunate indeed. Okay, we've landed there, which means our, our push should be a lot stronger now. Um, let's go ahead and take our... Well, let's let this finish up beforehand. 
all my war goals. Grab our tin stack here. Oh, well, no. We'll let, we'll let them sit there. Still having some trouble pushing those guys out. Let's raid convoys with the little army we have present here. We're beating the ghost man. Take that, ghost man. And that should be all the war goals. 75%. What do we not occupy? Have we not gotten it into the north? I bet you we haven't gotten into the north. Let's grab the 10... Well, give me the 6 stack, actually. Put him up there, clear up that front. And that should be 100% war goal, right? Good. Now, with that done, let's actually snag... I want to do a naval invasion of the actual home country here. Just to make this go a little cleaner. Ah, we'll, we'll sit on it. We'll sit on it. We don't need to do that. While it would be good for us, we don't need to do it. We'll just clean up these battlegrounds and then sit on the war. Just Liberia. In fact, I could have maybe snatched some of Liberian land for free in the war. That would have been nice. And look, we're now making a crazy amount of money. Let me just, un let me just unlock. I'm, like, zoned out. Hydraulic cranes, I think. Believe so. Or maybe mass communication. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm blacking out. <laughs> Focusing on the war. Oh, we're not constructing. That's why I'm making so much money. We should always be constructing. Coal. Need more of it. Transvaal, I need to up your production. Let's do another 10 of those, and let's also go and grab a railway to throw in there. Give me two railways. 12k in interest from our, our loans here. Kind of killer. Especially since raising taxes only can deal with a little bit here. We're sitting at 2 million in credit. Not a good amount. Definitely we'll have to cut back on the military spending once we get this uh, this handled. But so far, so good. Our law enforcement just hit level 5. We complete the Metropolitan Police. Um, we will do the we'll increase the Loyalists here. That's very annoying how they're just putting a front up. I hope I get all that land whenever he um is finished with his colonies. That'd be very annoying if I didn't. Okay, they have like two provinces, right? Let's just knock them out and take what's mine. There's their war support. Let's push this. Beautiful. Wonderful, really. Oh, it's a colony. Oh, well, that's not a colony. We'll incorporate that. That's already incorporated. We'll incorporate... That's also a colony. Okay. Um, That means that we need to get our colonial increase to actually be able to run that. Oh, well. Good. Overall, overall, really good that we did that. All right, first things first. Let's go ahead and do our restate resets here. I think this one I had actually a reason for this. I think I was doing our, our building here slightly different with like patent stills. Yeah, whatever. We'll sit on it. We will sit on it. And I think we kind of chill again. 
We've got uh, now some land here in this side of the Congo. We almost have a claim on all of Africa organically, which is really nice. Really good to have that. The question is, what's next? I don't really know the answer to that. Um, Congo has been taken. Uh, are they? They are not dependent. They're a dominion of France. Don't want to do that. Maybe we start getting up in Socotro area, or maybe we look at making a play against you have an alliance with Austria. So we're not touching you. You will be, you can just sit there. Maybe it's time we make a, hmm. Okay, I think priority number one is stabilizing my government and my, my money situation that I currently have and getting rid of the insane amount of interest we were sitting on, two million in credit. Yeah, don't wanna deal with that. So we're gonna let that tick down. We're gonna keep building, um, but we're gonna probably not expand our capacity for a little bit. Maybe maybe I'll do the four or eight. Eight innovation really doesn't make it a crazy difference for us. But I mean, look at our literacy compared to other regions, right? We are, we're white now. We've turned into a good way. Ross, the number nine GDP. How do we face off against the other GDPs? We're about to surpass Spain and we're right behind the United States and right along Belgium, all of which is good. Military goods, if we also have low market access, Transvaal's fixing itself, so that's not a problem. Silk shortage and hardwood shortage. Speaking of, do I need to build some logging camps? I mean, yeah, let's go ahead and get you to capacity. Slide that into the queue. Yeah, I don't mind. So we also have a bunch of unrealized taxes. The problem with those, that what I'm seeing, um, is traditionalism. We can't increase anything until we get rid of traditionalism, but we can't do anything about that because we have the fucking landowners. And his kid's a fucking landowner too. I think what we need to do is use our dad to win a fight against our landowners. I think that's what has to happen. Because we can't change any of the power laws here. I need to, let me see if I can throw someone in government that can change the power law. I don't mind if our government's unacceptable for a little bit. Yeah, nothing I can really do about that. Let's go back to just head out of here. Um, let's back off the industrials. I need to get the intelligentsia in power. I need to get them up there and have them change our, our laws. I really missed an opportunity here. Um, it's actually going to really set us back here because the reason we're having to do these economy games is because we can't in fact, we're losing money with this. Maybe I, okay, maybe I take a break on construction once we get our our stuff, our current situation handled and just let it auto build for a little bit. We have shipyards now. When do we get those fucking things? Huh. Hmm. Oh, they're also auto expanding. That's nice. Is it all, it's just all in the same place here. Yeah, I like the um, independent, um, what's the word? Investment, that's the word. I like having that, it's very handy. Rail carts, hmm. I did kick our coal mines up to using rail carts because we had um, too many, not enough people employed here, right? Like you see how we're having it right now. In fact, let's, cancel a lot of those. We'll just do the one. Because Transvaal does not have enough people. There's actually too many. Any gold mines or anything we can build up. We can build more iron mines in Verstadt. I'd rather build up like our silk. Do we have silk plantations? We have tobacco. Wacky tobacco. We have dye. Any of these that are crazy profitable? We're looking at a thousand for the uh, dye plantations. That's only temporary though. Coal mines are even more profitable. 1600 in terms of coal mines. What about industries? Furniture and glass works apparently go for a lot. There should be also steel mills. Let's do some glass works. Let's, let's invest in our glass works. We already got four here, so let's do three of those. I say as I build logging camps. 
which are also very profitable too. So a lot of opportunities for money everywhere. And I just need to deal with our interest problems. 16K in interest now. Okay, what do we do to fix this? I don't need the prestige. Yeah, that'll fix it. That should fix it. I could kick up a liquor tax. Or to backy. If I had the money, porcelain's a good tax. Yeah, we'll sit on this. Let this tick. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the economic game, try to fix our, our, our problems we are seeing with our interest, and generally just build this up um, and watch as our uh, infamy ticks down. I need to kill Zanzibar because they're the same fucking color as me, but yeah, we're focusing on expansion here. God, that's a lot of people. Yeah, we're gonna focus on expansion. I think I'm gonna probably try to pick up a bunch of, um, what's the word? Pick a bunch of puppets in some adjacent region. That way maybe if I do um, go to war with Great Britain, I can just give them puppets and not have to worry about it. But that's gonna be a future goal. But for now, we're gonna take a break and I'll bring you guys back when I have an update. All right, we're back. Um, some time has passed. We're having a rebellion in our new state. Uh, we're also enacting agrarianism. I tried to go for colonialism, or uh, colonization, I should say. And um, we managed to piss off the rural folk enough that they rebelled. But when they rebelled, they wanted to enact agrarianism. So now I have this move I can pass that everyone loves. Um, and the thing about agrarianism is it's better than traditionalism. Right? So, like, we'll, we'll have... Well, benefits to aristocrats and farmers, which is fine. Um, we can also subsidize all of our infrastructure. Basically, what we all, we're, nothing really changes except for the fact that we don't have this negative malice. And I can also now go and change my tax loss, which will be really nice. Because, like, look, if I go to proportional taxation, 1100 right? So we can make a lot of money by passing agrarianism. So I'm very hopeful that it succeeds. Um, support. Okay, I'll, I'll just go for the support here. I don't care if the landowners get um, angry with us. We still have just generally good support, right? Also, that's a really, that, that syntax should be changed from concept, concept, underscore, timed, underscore, modifier, comma. That's a, that's a function call. What's, <laughs> damn it, paradox. I hate noticing things like that in my games. I really do. All right, but we're going to let this war play out. We're going to let, let it just generate. We're going to increase our production. We're at 40, 100, $43 million in GDP pounds, not, not dollars. Let's be right that Britain was uh, really strong in this time of the world. We passed the United States. They're fighting to keep up with us, though, so that might not uh, last for long. Spain's also up there. As is uh, the French Orleanists revolt. Okay, could be a good time to pull some shenanigans related to that. I'll have to keep that in my back pocket. Not really much I can do with that. I'd much rather have Dad have a problem than have these guys have a problem. Let's get another interest. Let's get interest in Arabia. I think I want to start kind of puppeting some of these nations around here. Hejaz is a tributary of Egypt. So if I fight Hejaz, I'd have to fight Egypt. Mm. What continent is this connect technically a part of? Where can I see it? Strategic regions. This is part of Arabia. We'll call that... African adjacent, right? I want to do the Sinai, so we'll, we'll we'll take the Arabia. We'll at least expand a little bit there. Africa is the main goal, but if we need to eat more, to eat more, we'll keep it. We'll keep it not a primary state. That's how I'm gonna logic that out and keep that in my mind. That's how I'll do through my reckoning. Unless it's a five-year convert. If it's a five-year convert, we'll convert it, but I don't think it will be. Munitions industry. We need to have five munitions plants. Let's just throw down five munitions plants right now. It's a benefit to have, and it'll help us with some money issues. Let's sort by labor here. Gondor, get five munitions plants. Sounds like a plan. 
We need nations in our custom unit. I'm thinking we take this land and then maybe pull some shenanigans with Persia. Who's an unrecognized regional power. Maybe vassalize Kalath Makran and friends. Make them puppets. Sounds good to me. Okay, this war is done. Should all be good. I don't like how we're sitting at 75 and the law is not getting fucking passed. Please pass the law. So that's just kind of crazy. Okay, they've now dropped. Kingdom of France. Are you losing this? Are you winning this? French Orleanists have won. Or are losing. Is it because you're at war with... Oh, you're at war with a lot. <laughs> why that's happening. Okay. Speaking of, we're we're getting closer to get, making a play for Iron Class, which is going to be my next priority. Let's actually stop this Power of the Purse stuff and just go directly for Iron Clans. I was picking up these military things just to let the, the spread kind of do its job better. But for now, I think that's fine. About to get medical degrees via the spread. Um, I think we can kind of wait on other things in this cultural tree. All right, this should finish. Let me out of here. Good. We're back to it. That was a colony, so nothing really is lost there. Just kind of waiting for agrarianism and letting our nation slowly build up. And dealing with some radicals, it seems. We have fifth, a quarter of the population, damn near. Well, maybe less. Maybe this is closer to like one, one-sixth of the population. So quarter's an overstatement, but we've got we've got some radicals, is basically what I'm saying. Um, so we'll kind of sit on those and let that tick. I'm gonna do some more of the economics game, um, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we'll do probably one last sync before uh, we call this one here. So, see you guys soon. All right, we're back and we have agrarianism and we're making a ton of money because of it now. I can kick back my taxes and the world is my fucking oyster now. Um, maybe that's a lie. Okay, we need an interest group that is interested in per capita taxation. We need to start getting people into our government that favor these different kind of things. For instance, we can go to charity hospitals soon. Hmm. Okay, we're, we're in a good stage. That breaks a little bit of the landowner's power here. Um, might want to start bolstering the industrialists. Get them up to speed and then use that to break the last thing, which is the slave trade. That is still kind of keeping them in power. Um, they want private. I'm not, I'm not, I don't really mind going to private. Commercialized agriculture would be really nice. We don't have mutual funds, though. Okay, maybe we take a break with our, our laws for now. But look at this. Look at the money we're making. We are now... Our, that basically fixed our taxation capacity, shouldn't it? Let's take a gander. Okay, we still have some tax issues. But it's reasonable, right? I can deal with that over time. In fact, let's just add some small ones to fix that. That one needs actually, well, 22 is a little bit crazy for Amhara. Let's go to 15. All right, that will deal with all our tax capacity issues. I'm letting our construction kind of churn through it. And we're also back to using the most expensive of our military. Um, I'm saving up infamy. I'm going to go for a puppet on Morocco. I realize that it's, it's generally just better um, to puppet as a vassal and then annex as opposed to just going directly to doing those kinds of things. So that's a kind of the play. If I went and did a war, I'm not going to press that button, but I'm thinking of making independence from Great Britain. I think that's going to be our next kind of stretch goal. Maybe I get us to 200 construction capacity and then look towards that way. Speaking of, let's go ahead and do some more of our universities. Sort by labor here. Let's get another five of these in Hara. Let's do these first. And let's go ahead and throw a railway in Amara too, because we got a lot of construction coming their way. That should be fine. Munitions Industries. We... Greater than or equal to five. Don't I have... Didn't I build some in Gondor? I 
Oh. Let's go and check out the productionists and see why they are struggling to make ends meet. Bone china. I want probably one of these to be just normal glass work, right? Well, I guess both bone china is fine. Paper bleaching is fine. Um, rotary valve. What does this take eventually? It's just more coal and eventually oil. Okay. Okay, probably want to do LeBlanc processes for this. Shipyards, reinforced wooden ships. No, we want to go to steamships there. So these aren't making us money because munitions are not expensive yet. Okay, I'm going to subsidize these just to get the mission done and then we'll stop. Missions plant in Gondor. Oh, because we can't because we're agrarianism now, so we can't subsidize them. Oh, well. Well, I tried. I tried to get that running, but oh, well. Uh, we'll let this go through. Let's actually build some more construction sector sort by pop. We need Gondor. Let's get you up to two there and then one there, and we'll stop. That's another four, five construction sectors. Push us up. Ten construction per. So that'll make us, and then it scales based on economy. So that will help. Take advantage of the local production effect there. Good. And we're all, we got rid of our negative balance of gold here. So now we're just making money. It's pure profit in the truest sense, which is nice. Some of these places are starting to actually get borderline profitable with their, uh, their expenses here. Railways are starting to be a big uh, a big benefit for us. I bet you our transport market, where are we? Tons of excess on some of this stuff, but it still sells for like a crazy amount. Can I export? I mean, I should at least do some of these. Let's do that trade route. Mm -hmm, yeah, that's gonna have to in Japan, hell yeah, that's a good amount. Let both those go. Doing trade while part of the market's kind of wild. I like it. Really takes there really is no negative to being in this market other than the fact that we're capped on our rank. Other than that, it's perfectly fine, really. No problem at all. I, I still want to push this through. Let's go for colonial exploitation. Okay, and now we're starting to hit the limits of some of our production capacity. I'm getting us up to the cap on innovativeness, or at least close to it. We're not gonna, it looks like we're not gonna hit the actual cap, but we'll get close. All right, so let's go ahead and cut off that trade route. It was a joke, I was only kidding. So to puppet Morocco, we need 49 infamy to spare. Meaning it's probably going to take us a little bit. We're going to look at two years of watching that decay before we can do that, which is quite some time. Where is this one? I'm being an idiot. Where's the railway? North Madagascar, please queue up. Queue that up too. Queue it up for anywhere that's about to be below a certain threshold. I need someone I can put in government that actually is in favor of the different tax laws. But first, I need to actually get my government to allow me to colonize. That way I can finish these things over here, even though they have severe malaria. Yeah, severe malaria. Need to colonize. That's, that, that is our money modifier right now, is doing those colonizations. Sp True to that. We also, by the way, I missed, I missed explaining this, but we have a defensive pact with Egypt now. I think it's easier to make friends with them at the moment than to go to war. We haven't built up our, our, our uh, army enough to make it worth my damn time, in my personal opinion. So we will just kind of let them live and use them to basically be a big stick that we can swing at enemies. So all good there. All good there. So we have three years of construction saved up. Um, not too, not too much. It's still a lot, but not crazy amount. We're also the seventh ranked economy. Um, we've hit the the upper bounds of who we can easily pass. Everyone ahead of us is Great Powers and the British Raj. So 
Not much we can do to get past that other than slowly build up and hope to gain more inertia. Our dad is, of course, number one. Um, we'll take the enactment side here. It's crazy how that dropped 36. You think it'd be faster, but all right. I think this is a good stopping point for this episode. I'm about an hour of recording. I'm going to let this... Our next move is going to be to take Morocco, make them a vassal, get some money from them, and then eventually annex them once they start having rebellion problems. But for now, I'd rather have them manage their own state than have to deal with the convoys to get over there and having such a long border with France. I'm not ready for that. So for now, I'm Coastal here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Sean, the Blue Screeners, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.